Well, hello and welcome one and all to this week's episode of Arrow Nicely News. Today is Friday, June 28th, 2024. My name is Lenny Hernandez and we have a valuable show in store for you today. That's because today's episode is all about Arrow Senior Living's core values. Now this list of 10 principles is a guiding beacon for Arrow that we strive to live up to every single day. I believe acts of kindness can drive change in the world. I defend the dignity of others. I choose to have a childlike sense of wonder and be fascinated, not frustrated. Now, these are some of our values that we will learn about today from Arrow's Chief Operating Officer, Amanda Dweeton. We are also going to take a look at a fabulous art piece featuring the core values that was created by a resident of the Westbury Senior Living, Dave Wickman, who donated the beautiful work to home office. We are even going to get to speak to him about why he created this work of art and what it means to him. So uh, sit back, relax, and come along with me as we dive right into these wonderful values that help make Arrow the wholesome, wonderful, caring company that it is. Welcome to Arrow Nicely News. Well, to kick things off, I sat down with Amanda Tweeten, Chief Operating Officer for Arrow Senior Living and co-writer of The Core Values to learn about what they are and what makes them special enough that Dave had to immortalize them through his art. Well, hello, Amanda, and welcome, and thank you so much for being here. Hi, Lenny. Thank you for having me, and it's a pleasure to be here today. I am so excited because we are talking all about the core values. Okay, so. You are one of the co-writers on them, right? Yes, I wrote the core values um, many, many years ago. Like I, we're, we're talking over a decade ago with the one and only Howard Simmons. And for those of you who don't know, Howard Simmons is the editor and archivist here at Arrow Senior Living. And he's been with us from the early, early days. What are they? Why do we have them? Why are they important? <sighs> well, one of the things that we learned when you're making a business is um, you you should have like core values for your business and you should have um, like business principles. So we sat down and we're like, like we're like, we have to, like, we're gonna be a grown up business. We're gonna make some core values. And Howard and I um, literally wrote them in like 15 minutes. Like we sat down one afternoon and we're like, we need to do this, we need to have these. And the, the reason it was so, easy to write them is because so many of the core values that we have for our company were inspired or influenced us based off of people we had worked with in the past. And so um, it was very, very easy to write. And um, and the core values have been with us since that time over a decade ago, and they've only changed once. And it was a very important change that we made a few years back. Um, and it was the core value that we consistently I firmly, firmly I consistently and firmly advocate for fairness. Yep, that yes. was added, I think, uh, 2020 or so. It's not really surprising that we had somebody just create this huge tapestry was, of them. I, I mean, I was surprised. The fact that it, it touched him enough that he would take six weeks to hand carve them. Like I started to tear up. Like I, like I might've cried just a little bit because I wouldn't have imagined um, that. You'll notice my shirt. This is one of our employee uniforms. Uh, uh, it's, uh, we've got like a series of this, sh of this shirt. So we've got one that says, be kind. And one that says, let's chuckle. And um, we tr we're trying to like embrace our core values on our uniform as well. Yeah. So that, that they're ever present and always with us. Because the power of a chuckle is my most favorite core value. Uh -huh. uh, be kind is also, I mean, so I'm gonna tell you two things. The very first core value that we have is um, acts of kindness drive change in the world. And um, when I'm giving my session, I normally talk about, of course, that whole concept of like pay it forward. Like we're embracing that and you wanna be kind and nice to others. But there's another layer to this core value that I don't always think that people understand. And so it's important that our leaders get that being kind to others is important, but being kind to yourself is 
also important. So one of our foundational beliefs is I will take care of me for you and you take care of you for me. And so that self care, the work life balance, like, mm. when, like it's important for us to always keep that top of mind to be kind to ourselves as well as to others. Um, but my most favorite core value is the power of a chuckle. Life is so very short, you know, and in a moment's notice, uh, it, it can change or it can, it can be gone, it can be different. And so the fact that anyone would be willing to give any amount of their time to Arrow, um, that's a true gift. And that like, so I don't want people to spend what little time they have on this earth with us being miserable. And sometimes the jobs that we do at Arrow are not always going to be the funnest job. It's if, if you're choosing to give any amount of your time to us um, and you're doing some things that aren't so fun, what can we do in our environment to bring joy to the job? And so like we are always advocating that you find ways to have fun at work um, and to bring parts of yourself to the job. It's just really important to prioritize finding the lighter side of life. We spend so much time telling our employees about it, but we don't always spend a lot of time explaining it to to others um, what it means. So I'm so glad that you guys chose to do a nicely news about it. So thank yes. you. Yes, yes. And um, well, bef before we go, did you say that you're wanting to show the nicely news crowd? Yes. So um, yes, is that what you're? Yes, at, at Arrow, we are a pet friendly organization. So hold please, uh, we have a new canine executive officer in training. Everyone, this is Gertrude. Gertrude's making your first debut on the Nicely News. What's up, Gertrude? Oh, look at her. Look at her, it's so cute. And what I did. A future canine executive officer right here. Well, mm. thank, you. thank you for talking with me, Lenny. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Amanda. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Bye, Gertrude. Bye. Next up, special correspondent Charlie Johnson sat down with artist Dave Wickman to learn straight from the horse's mouth why he created this beautiful work. All right, well, we're talking with Dave Wickman. He's a resident of the Westbury Senior Living in Columbia, Missouri. Hello, Dave, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, Charlie? Well, I, oh, I'm doing great, Dave. Uh, you know, I understand that you enjoy working with wood. Is that true? I have a passion for, for woodworking, for building things, for making things, and for the little bit of artwork that comes along with it. I've been doing this for about 50 years and I've created in excess of 200 projects one way or another, and probably more that I have lost uh, contact with. Yes, it's a passion. So I guess you're over 50 years old then, would that be safe to say? I'm a youngster of 92 years old. Oh my goodness! Well, well, ahead. well, good for you, good for you, Dave. So, so I, I have seen some photos of, of a beautiful, large piece of art that features the the arrow core values. Can I ask you this, Dave? What inspired you to make that piece? Well, I'm a nosy person, and as I moved moved into the Westbury, I intend to spend the rest of my life in Westbury. And I wanted to have a better uh, feel on, on where I'm going to spend the rest of my life and who's going to take care of me for those years. So I, I rooted around, finally found the, the Arrow app, figured out who you guys are, and, and you guys are the, the administering people. And so I went to your website, and the, the first thing I really, the very first thing I found on the very first page in your website was a reference uh, to your core values. I don't remember what the reference was, but it was a, it turned out it's the first line in your core value statement. I like that, and then I followed along to to your um, core value statement, the entire thing. I read it, and I read it a couple of times, and I thought, wow, these people are good. If they can uh, really believe in this core, va that core value statement, and uh, really operate according to that. This this is a good place to spend the rest of my life if they have these these uh, beliefs. So I decided. Well, gee, we, we see it on the backs of our our, our uh, uh, 
waiting uh, people on, the, on black t-shirts. We see it on the backs of there. And, and that's about the only place we, we really see it. So I'd like to put it up in public, make a public statement as to uh, how I felt about this the statement. So since I do things of wood, well, I figure, well, I'll, I'm, I'll make some sort of a, a acclamation uh, about this, uh, um, for this uh, goal statement in wood. I wanted to carve in the the core values with my little hand tools. This is all hand work. I want to carve in the, the values, but I also wanted to to emphasize the 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 A, the big A logo with the that that, that is um, uh, arrow. And I love that logo with the with the with the vine and the leaf, and then the the arrow sticking right out of it. It fits. I think of wood as real people, almost. At any rate, this poor old piece of wood that was out in the in the in the rain, it 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 knew it and found a home. I built earlier a a uh, a, a workbench in the, in the end of my bedroom. It kind of constricts things, but nevertheless, I like it. I like the smell of wood. And, uh, I like having a few wood chips around. So almost beside my bed in Westbury, I've got a workbench with all my funny little tools around it. So at any rate, my daughter and I bought, brought this big piece of wood, estimated to weigh about 250 pounds at the time, soaking wet. We snuck it in the back door, literally snuck it in the back door, because I didn't know how you guys were gonna take this. <laughs> so, and it took probably two or three weeks just to sand that darn thing smooth before it could even start on, on anything. But it, we got it smooth and um, uh, then started laying out the letters and, and then started carving. I used the hand tools, some of which came from my father. So I, I treasure them because they're, uh, I used probably four, five or six uh, little hand tools to, to carve all these uh, uh, letters into the, the wood. And that took weeks. I mean, there's, there's, uh, it was sort of intimidating to start this thing because it's so long. I wish you guys had picked a shorter, a shorter uh, mission statement. But <laughs> nevertheless, well, I did that, and uh, first I have to use a, a hand tool to carve the, 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 the letter into the, the wood. Then I use another tool to try to make a, a, a V image uh, into the bottom of the letter and clean it off. And then I use a, a series of uh, little bitty um, jeweler's files uh, to, to clean up the sides of it and so forth. And uh, then I go on to the next letter and do this look time after time. At any rate, we go over with, I went over with a magnifying glass and the little hand tool, which gave me a, a great magnification of each letter and went over that. And, and over that again to get the get the little fine pieces out of it. So it came out came out somewhat perfect. Or my my uh, offering as to how perfect you can get it, and did that. And and first thing you know, the thing is is finished. Now, do I have this right? Now, you actually delivered this to the home office. Is that right or not? And we loaded up on the old bus and uh, came in with about an equal part of, of staff and, and residents. And we drove into um, into St. Charles, into Newtown. And my gosh, they gave us a good reception. Uh, <laughs> that the, the, the enthusiasm that we felt in the, in the St. Charles office was, was over the top. Uh, and we found that with with the various uh, uh, staff that were were there, and they were very open. They were very enthusiastic. It was over the top. Uh, we got to to uh, meet your CEO Stephanie, and we're impressed that such a young lady could put together such a a far-reaching and, and energetic uh, uh, bunch of people as a team. Now then, now then, I, I have one final question for you, Dave. Okay, are you ready for it? It's a tough one. We'll try. Okay, Dave. Tell me, what is your favorite arrow core value? I solve problems and my answer is always yes. 
That meets my personality. I love to 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 face a problem or a situation that's difficult. If it's easy, I'll leave that for somebody else. But I like the, the hard situations, and I love to love to overcome them. Very good. Well, again, thank you, Dave, and it's been a pleasure. And and on behalf of Arrow, and thank thank you for for what you've done. And and I, it's uh, there are a lot of people that are going to appreciate your work for a very long time. Well, thank you so much. Good talking to you, Charlie. Good to talk to you. I hope I hope you have a great evening. I will absolutely. All right. A huge thank you to Dave and to Amanda for talking with us today about Arrow's core values and, of course, his beautiful art. Arrow's core values are an invaluable part of what makes Arrow a special company. They make it a wonderful place to work and they guide our communities to make them a safe and welcoming environment. I mean, they are not only a thoughtfully crafted set of principles, but a positive way of life for those who choose to utilize them. I believe acts of kindness can drive change in the world. I listen to understand. I consistently and firmly advocate for fairness. I defend the dignity of others. I choose to have a childlike sense of wonder and be fascinated, not frustrated. I solve problems and my answer is always yes. I understand that transparency builds trust. I strive to be humble. I believe in the power of a chuckle. I am a dedicated and loyal team member of Arrow Senior Living. Thank you all so much for joining us today on this journey through our core values. A huge thank you again to Amanda and to Dave for sharing their thoughts, and especially to Dave for sharing your amazing art. Well, everyone, it's time for us to say goodbye, but we will be back in seven short days with more joyous and delightful stories from around Arrow Senior Living Communities. Well, until then, for Arrow Nicely News, I'm Lenny Hernandez. Have a wonderful weekend, an even better week, and we will see you all next Friday. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video out. Boop, boop. We'll see y'all next week. I strive to be humble. I'm like a humble bumblebee. Hey.